Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another amazing video for you guys. So you guys know yesterday we did our road to uh, rank 35. We had the world record for Gene and I said I would try my hardest to get a rank 35 Gene and that is exactly what we did. We are officially the first rank 35 Gene in the world. Yes, it's never happened before. This is the first time um, breaking the record books, making our paving our way into history yet again and I'm so proud of myself that I did it. It's honestly a ton of work. Um, it's so long and just so much patience and mentally you have to be very, very strong to do this. Um, not many people can do it, so I'm very happy that I uh, was able to do it. I'm very happy I can share my experience with you guys. Um, so I'm just, you know, wanna be thankful to you guys for watching all my videos and doing all that. I'm gonna be doing another friends list giveaway. So again, three friends will be added to the friends list. Um, second best, I'm sorry. All you have to do is like the video, comment your IGN down below in game name, and I will pick three winners at the start of the next video. So what we're gonna be doing today is just going over the games, showing you our final four games of getting my gene to rank 35. Uh, so it's some pretty good gameplay. There's two or three intense matches. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys exactly what happened. Okay, so we're not going to show one game. So this is actually the fifth game away from rank 35. I'm going to skip the other one because that one was really easy and then show you some others. Um, we did lose like two or three times on the way from 1200 to 1250, which is a huge loss. It's like a loss of 45 minutes. You can see Alec goes down over there. We're able to kill the BB. Um, and just OG is on his lane against the spike. That's perfect lane because you counter spike when you're a Brock. I'm gonna pull the Gene over here. I need Alec to hit him a few times, but I know Alec will, so we're able to pick up that kill. BB again, right over here. We're able to pick up the kill and charge our super. OG's like a bot this game, literally a bot. We lost the game before, so this one is a little bit brutal. If we lose this game, it's like another loss of 45 minutes. We lost the game before, so we'd literally lose like an hour and a half, an hour, 45, two hours worth of time. So me and Alec are literally out here trying to 2v3. You can see OG starts to move a tiny bit. He's gonna lag out again, can't do much. I'm able to hit my third pull of the game on their mid. Um, we're going off, OG dying again. Literally just a walking supercharge. He's literally not doing anything. Alec's gonna pick up the gem. Luckily he's a bow and he's also a mid. So if you 2v3, if you have like two kind of mids, that's perfect. And luckily we're able to get some. OG's bot again, just chilling, doing its own thing. Charging supers, we're able to pick up a kill over there. We see Spike has some gems, so we want to go towards the Spike, except we got hit by an RNG. So we have to go a little bit away. Alec, uh, that Gene's going to miss the pull on us. Alec was going to go a little bit aggressive, but he wasn't able to get the gem. We're going to hit our like fourth or fifth pull of the game. Get that Spike down. Just chill here, charge our supers. OG is charging the pull for the Gene. Obviously a bad thing, so we're going to grab that Gene. We're going to get the kill. Alec is going to go down, but since we pulled the Gene, we got 10 gems. We're looking good. Four, three, two, one. And with very little health left, we are able to win the game and literally 2v3 at 1200 levels. So that was definitely a super, super scary game. Was definitely a tough one. No, uh, like, like no thanks to OG on this one. Like literally typical OG, standing still, getting carried, walking super. <laughs> but let's hop into the next game. Let's show you guys what happened next. There's a really good game coming up. So our next game is going to be against General Rommel Fade and Nimpo. I recently scrimmed against Nimpo literally like two hours before this. I think we went 6-0 in the scrim. Um, that's besides the point. And General Rommel was streaming at the, at the time. General Rommel, uh, General Rommel, a pretty good streamer. Definitely check him out if you guys are on Twitch. He streams late night. We're going to rush mid with Ninpo. I didn't think he would waste the super on me to get two gems and get one hit. But he did, which is fine. I could have probably supered him, but I didn't think it was worth it. Alec is over there laning against the Tara. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of a pin strategy over here. And Inpo is going to go to the middle and grab some gems. I thought he was in distance, but he wasn't, so I backed up. Alec is going to go down over there, but I know the Tara is just going to be behind this wall, so I'm able to get the hit on Tara. Ninpo is getting a little bit too close, not really sure where we are. So we're going to grab the pull on Ninpo. We need someone to hit uh, one shot over there, so Alec is going to do so. The Tara is going to pick up the gems, but it's going to be hit by the stun mines. You guys know how broken those stun mines are. We're going to pick up the gems over here. It's currently 8 to nothing. Ninpo, Ninpo gets hit. Um, it was kind of, you guys might think that's an unnecessary super since he was already standing still, but I was able to take away his pull since he had it. I take it out for like two or three gem spawns and I get my super right back, so it's fine. 
Gonna be able to pull Nimpo again. Super important that we take away the fact that we can get pulled by a Gene, because obviously that would be extremely game changing. OG's gonna go down getting a kill on General Rommel. We're just gonna go to the back. Their Tar is gonna try and get a super off, but there's nothing that she can do since we're way too far. And that is going to end the game. So this brings us two games away from a rank 35 gene you guys notice we're getting star player every game you know we're the carries you guys know how it is but let's hop into the next game the next two are actually really really like even and close a little bit scary let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened okay so this game we we're in matchmaking for like 20 minutes literally and when you're in matchmaking for like 20 minutes at a certain at a certain point they're like okay here are some brawlers just face them do you so these guys are randoms they don't have a mid they don't really have a comp and those are like low-key the comps that you guys lose to when you're having three good players like myself og and alec on a roll very rarely will a comp that's running like the same type of meta that we are be able to beat us when they're running just off meta just randomness that's actually the ones that i see myself losing to a lot on these pushes so you guys can see we're kind of fooling around over here. You guys can see the Mortis's name. David was streaming, so we were kind of fooling around, spinning with the Mortis. If you see the uh, the Mortis's name, this is a little bit of a joke. Just uh, having fun with it. Um, Tara's name, me swole, you fat. So these guys are kind of just randoms. Uh, spinning when we killed the Mortis just for fun. But they're low-key up 5-2. to two. The Tara super was charged by Alec, but fortunately he was able to juke it. Um, we almost got the kill on on this mortis but he was able to get his bats and it's actually eight to nothing for them right now so right now we're like okay we're not losing we're two games away let's actually focus down as it's nine to nothing the mortis is going to go over here pick up that gem i'm going to hit a pull but the crow is going to body block the mortis is very very low but we're able to reset the timer over there i'm able to get a kill on that um on that Tara, I went for the pull on the crow. The crow juked it, but in in like he had to juke it by going right, and him going right forced him into us, so we we're able to grab that kill. Uh, Alex doing a great job on the aggro. The crow's right over here. Um, we're gonna be able to get a kill on that crow with OG. OG's gonna hit a really nice snipe. That Tara does have pull. We went on the very very outer side, but we do get pulled. We're gonna go down, but luckily we have OG with super and a mine over there. Alec is gonna walk up. He's going to just run around in auto aim, but he is going to be able to get the kill. The Mortis is going to take a ninth gem, so it's currently 7 to 9. We're fully reset. We're like, okay, uh, we know what we're doing now. Tara is going to waste super. We're going to be able to pick up the kill, but they do pick up the next gem. Alec is going to be able to get a kill on that crow really, really easily. The Mortis is going to be right on Alec. One more dash, and he would have got the kill, but he had to run away. So it's currently 9 to 9 right now. I'm going to walk up, try and take some shots. Wasn't able to get the kill. The Mortis had a missed dash. We're able to pick up that kill. We're going to be able to kill the Crow over there. And that is going to give us the lead. So this is a super scary game. We actually almost threw by just fooling around. OG spinning. He knows he can die. He asked if he can die. We say, yeah, go ahead. So he's going to be just spinning around, basically doing nothing. Tar right over there. We're just going to be able to get the kill. And that is going to end this very, very scary second last game so we are now at 1249 trophies just one cup away from being the first ever in history rank 35 gene let's get into the last game and let's show you guys what happened so here we go for the last game they had a really strong comp of tara rosa and pocos this is a very legitimate game very strong comp can definitely do damage to anyone and we don't really have a good rosa killer so we have to work as a unit over here OG being a Brock isn't really good at covering all that ground. He's asking me to check his lane. I'll be able to find out there's a Rosa over there, but he still overextends a little bit. We're able to pick up the kill, but that wasn't very ideal. I have my pull. I know I could have pull, uh, pulled the poke over there, but the Tara was closed. Would have caused too much havoc. The Tara super would have been charged, so I decided not to. I'm moving up. I'm getting a little bit more aggro here, trying to figure out exactly where this Rosa is. So we're all just trying to cover all the bushes, make sure we hit everything. The Rosa's just being uh, a little bit worn down over there trying to keep the rosa tagged we're figuring out where the poco is um i, w I don't really want to go for a risky pull at this point because i know the poco is playing a little bit aggressive so we're able we're going to be able to get a pull i want to pull the the poco over there but fortunately for them the rosa was kind of in our face so we couldn't do so og hits a really good super over there which forces the poco to go back at very low health we're going to be pinching this tar over here and be able to pick up that kill so it's currently five to four things are looking good over here uh, six to four. We're able to chip down this Rosa. Really good pinch on our side. This Tara does have pull, so we can't go too close to the Tara. Just have to play really, really passive. Um, the Tara is just going to be in the mid. We're going to give him a double auto aim. The Poco is going to be all alone, so we're going to go a little bit more aggro. We're going to pull the Poco, and with one shot from OG, that's going to wrap it up. The Poco, or the sorry, the Rosa is going to come onto us, but we're going to be able to get that kill. Going to go for the pull over there. We did hit it, but the Tara died right when we did. 
Uh, we're spinning. At this point, we know we won. There's no way for them to kill us. So we're spinning. We're celebrating the rank 35 gene. And that is going to be it. History made as we are the first rank 35 gene of all time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was definitely a blast to do this. And I hope I can do BB by the end of the season. I'm definitely not as good as a BB as I am a Jean. Jean is definitely my favorite brawler in the game. But I'm fairly good with her. If I have the patience, I'll definitely be able to do it. And I know you guys like these type of videos, so I'll definitely try my hardest. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That is going to be it for me today. I'm in a tournament for Duo Showdown um, at 3 p.m. Eastern. This is going to be posted after that. So I'm probably going to be mid-tournament or after the tournament. As well as I have my big last chance at qualifying for the $250,000 World Cup Finals in Korea. It's the last NA qualifiers. We participate tomorrow, so I'm unlikely. It's very unlikely that I'm going to get a video out. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Wish me luck in the tournament. Good luck in the giveaway. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.